my move to New York City was pretty smooth. I had a friend, I had a couple of friends who helped me driving an U-Haul and pack everything from Philadelphia and we drove together um, to my new apartment in New York just last week. So I'm still pretty fresh here in the city, still unpacking and ordering a lot of things on Amazon, Target, Home Depot, everything you know. Oh my God, I'm so much looking forward to just you know, being with people, being with a lot of people and being around with people in many kinds of events. I like going to museums, I like going to restaurants, and I love just being into happy hour and also some um, social events around the city. That's whether it's to be musical, non-musical, or other kinds of art, or just even pop life. So there's, there are always millions of things happening in New York City. That's what I love. And whenever I have the time, whenever time allows, that's what I want to enjoy. And that's why I feel like I belong in this, this city, really. I did. I did live in New York City for two years, almost two years. But those two years were during pandemic. So I moved here first time in New York City fall of 2019 and just a couple months afterwards we know what happened and I was not able to travel anywhere to see my friends I was stuck in my little apartment so I finished my master's during online as well and after that I went back to my home city in US where I consider home is Philadelphia so I moved back there for a year so I was brief, uh, I was briefly a New Yorker three years ago, but really now I feel like this is really my time. Mm, my favorite places, well, of course, Central Park, Sheep's Meadow, that place I can just bring a blanket or bring a towel, just sleep on the grass, especially fall season is my favorite. If I were to rank my favorite seasons, it has to be fall, spring, winter, and summer. So right now, it's the perfect season for me to take a good nap in the central, in the, in the park, and also have my bottle of Stumptown coffee. Oh, wow. My interest in fashion really dates back from when I was a baby. I actually had, I'm very fortunate, my parents work in the clothing industry, so they're sort of in the fashion industry, I guess you can say. Um, I remember from when I was really young, I would have like a pair of jeans. This is, you know, in China, very early 2000s. A girl wearing jeans or like jean skirts that would be something very new. I would always be the one in our school to be, you know, everybody around. Oh my God, what is she wearing? I would always be that little girl in our school. Um, but I just, I guess it's just influence. I was influenced from my parents, especially my mom. And I think fashion and music, they go along together so well. Part of the performing career is part of the presentation of a whole concert. I have to say the most special concert hall I've played or listened, I would go with the concert hall that I listened. It's Carnegie Hall. I still remember the piece. It was Sibelius Symphony Number no. 2, the second movement. That beautiful sound, that glorious sound, plus that glorious hall, I was, I just couldn't resist myself from like, you know, it's just when the concert was still there, all the musicians are playing. I just couldn't resist myself from like looking up and around. And I just had this like picture of all the greatest artists, all the YouTube videos I grew up with, with the greatest musicians, legends in the world from like Rubenstein, from everyone. I just couldn't, 
at that moment, I remember I was just looking around, up and down, and like around me, while the music are playing, while the mu musicians were playing, just thinking about all those images, and that was like a moment I was like, I felt so close to music. I felt like music, as in beyond just music, music as like a universe that was so close to me, and I felt like I was really in a universe. And that's when I know. That's when I figured this is where I want to be playing eventually in my later life. I wanted to be part of that universe, not just to feel it, but to make it happen. So I guess Carnegie Hall. That's definitely the most special place to me. Then guess what? I'm playing there <laughs> in like what? In like thirty something days. Yeah. Oh my god, is that even talking about that, even the word anticipation is giving me like goosebumps. <laughs> I feel like uh, I've, been look, I've been looking for this day, looking forward to this day for so long. I'm like nervous even to think about it, but I think more than that, it's just so excited. I just want to jump onto the stage and just to have fun. I just want, I just can't wait for it. I just wanted to, you know, I just want everybody to be there and enjoy a good time with me together. Hmm. How does playing piano make me feel? I think it's... I've asked my, myself this question so much and every single time when I'm on the stage, it just comes back to me very... I'm so assured that this is the thing that I want to do and it's the word that I'm always feeling when I'm on the stage. It's being expressive. Yes, I feel like I am an expressive person in life, but I am the most expressive when I'm on the stage. Meaning that I feel like I am all my senses and all my emotions and all my thinking, they are really being pushed at the greatest extent possible. I feel like I am the better person when I'm on the stage? <laughs> well, I'm afraid to answer that question because Schumann later was diagnosed as a schizophrenic. So how should I answer that? Maybe not that part, but definitely I feel like for me, I know I'm a very complicated, I have very complicated feelings for a lot of things. We're both curious minds. For him, at the time, he was not a great. He was not only a great composer, but also a very forward-thinking critic for literature, for art, for music, for many magazines, newspapers at the time. And he was not shy at all. He was very blunt. He just said literally the things that he felt very straightforward. And really, it was a. He was probably one of the earliest great music critic to be very critical, but also respectful. So I feel like that that curious part beyond music for me too. I enjoy love like you and, and I enjoy life cooking and enjoy being in the city and enjoy hanging out with friends, enjoy so many things. I enjoy like other forms of arts from pop to medieval, from Renaissance. But all these things are in, I enjoy, I love, but there's nothing that can compare to my, I guess, my dedication or my loyalty or just to my passion to music and piano. Ah, oh, I want to have more than one. How about that? But, but, but maybe for now, if I could pick one, I want to be able to teleport into different places. For example, I want to be... Today, I want to be playing at Carnegie and tomorrow, I or like in six hours or in three hours or right after I play in Carnegie, sometimes I feel like after I give such a good recital, I'm in such a highly, a highly ener energized mode. I feel like I want to do it again right away. I wish I could be able to do it again in Concert Gabal or to do it in 
I don't know, Louis Vuitton Foundation right away. I wish I could, I could have that power of, you know, just travel or like be in another, not space, but in another country right away. Maybe in technology, maybe in six years, we, we might be able to do it in a shorter span of time. But if that could be a superpower, I want to have that.